for God, because the Lord is faithful. I greet all in the mighty name of Jesus, and I welcome all in the presence of God. Allow me to welcome the servant of God, Pastor Filda. We welcome you, Pastor Filda. We really love you. Can you help me to, to can you help me please to greet Pastor Filda? The Bible said the servant of God that is up to be honor. We love you. We welcome you, servant of the most high God. Thank you for coming cross over with us. As you come here today, my the Lord remember you. You and your generation will never suffer after today in Jesus' name. People of God, the Bible speak my topic of this evening. I'm speaking about let me go. Hallelujah. Today someone is gonna let you pass. Hallelujah. Can you prophesy to yourself? Say, you enemy, tonight, let me go. Let me cross. Let me take over. Let me dominate in Jesus' name. You will dominate in 2022 in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, people of God, the enemy was take the land of Israelites. But the Israelites was put trust in the Lord. I want to tell someone, from January until today, December, someone was occupy your territory. Someone was occupy your land. Today is their last day. In this 15 hour, 15 minutes left, they must give your land back. They must give your territory back. The Bible said the Israelites will stand up. They go to tell the king, can you allow us to pass? Only to pass in that road for us to go in the promised land. The Bible said the king was refused. But the Bible said there was no discourage. Don't discourage tonight. Someone is going to let you pass tonight. The one who was sitting in your gate today is going to stand down. People of God, don't discourage. No matter from January and see December, you never receive something. In these 15 minutes, I professors, anywhere enemy was stolen your blessing, anywhere they bury your love, anywhere they imprison your love, may your enemy release what belongs to you in the name of Jesus. May your enemy vomit what belongs to you in the name of Jesus. May your enemy let you pass in the name of Jesus. Today is going to pass. The Bible said the enemy was stand in their blessing. The Israel, they can never do nothing. People of God yourself can never do nothing. In this moment, you need to call upon the power of the Lord. The power of God is going to help you. By yourself, you already fell. The father of your mother said, already so can never get marriage. The father of your father said, the already so can never conceive. But tonight, through the power of the Holy Ghost, they will let you pass in the name of Jesus. It was not easy for the Israelites, eh? for them to take their possession, for them to take their land. It was not easy for you to enter the marriage. It is not easy for you to recuperate your position. It is not easy for you to travel. But I have a guarantee. I have assurance. The God of assurance, he said, I must say to you, do not. The month of January, from the first January, you'll be the first one to testify in the name of Jesus. You'll be the the first one to carry your blessing in the name of Jesus. Tonight you're going to move on. Tonight you're going to cross over. Tonight you're going to move into the next level. People of God, you're not going to be the same in 2022. There is a surprise eh, that the Lord already prepared for you. There is a miracle that the Lord already prepared for you. There is a destiny helper that the Lord is going to send them tonight to come and help you. You need the destiny helper. By yourself, you can't do nothing. Someone already stands in your gates. Someone already say you can never see. Someone already say you can never carry a baby. But the Lord is said today, to from tomorrow, everything going to turn around in the name of Jesus. From tomorrow, your destiny is going to come back in the name of Jesus. From tomorrow, your star is going to be shown again in the name of Jesus. From tomorrow, your opportunity will come back again in the name of Jesus. The Bible said they lost everything. The Israelites. Who is a Israelite? You are the one that plus the Israelites. The Bible said those people, there was a courage. Remember what the Lord was telling Joshua? For you to take possession, for you to take your land, eh? you need to be strong and to be courage. For you to dominate in 2022, for you to reign, for you to see overflow blessing, eh? you need to be strong and to be courage. 
If you are not strong, the year 2022 is going to finish like this. Year of overflowing blessing. But if you are courage, if you are strong, you will be the first one to enter in the destiny. The Lord asked someone tonight to forget about what was happened this year. To forget about the disappointment for 2022. If you want to go forward, if you want to move forward, forget about what was happening in 2021. You will success in 2022. There's some people, they are blocked huh? because they are busy. Remember, I lost my job. My fiancé ran away. People of God, you are missing your visitation eh? because of the past. The Lord asks you today, for you to move forward, for you to see change, man, you need to forget about what was happening yesterday. Focus in the promise that the Lord has promised you. The year of overflowing blessing. No matter you lost a job, no matter there is no baby, Focus in the good promise, the new promise that is coming in the year 2022. People of God, for you to success, you need to separate eh, with 2021 and get married with 2022. Amen. Hallelujah. Separate yourself. Divorce yourself with 2021. It's only 10 minutes left for us to cross over, for us to pass. The Lord asks you, forget about the past you will go forward. The Bible says, every time the Israelites were having a problem, they were called upon the Lord. And the Lord was saved them, they do again abomination. Forget about what you lost in 2021. Focus in what the Lord is going to do tonight. Because tonight is a night of divine visitation. The Lord is going to visit you. He's going to visit your home. He's going to visit your family. He's going to visit your He's going to visit your work. He's going to visit your home. Forget about what was happened this year. This year is over. Your suffering is over. Your battle is over. Your delay is over. Your failure is over. There is something that is coming. The Lord is a focus on what was happened. Focus in the good thing that is coming. Remember every time the Bible says, when the Israelites was crying, they was crying to Moses, see, see, the Lord was saying, Moses, tell them to go forward. Go forward in 2022. Be strong and be courage and the Lord's going to do something. The promise that God already promised you is never fail. Your promise is still in the agenda of the Lord. God already know next year 2022, you're going to travel. God already know 2022, something good is coming. Your faith, it can move mountain. Your faith is going to push God to sign your documents tonight. Increase your amount of the faith. If your faith was in 10 in 2021, in 2022, increase your faith in hundred times. And you see what God's going to do. The Lord can never abandon. The Lord can never reject. The Ram, remember, when they was bringing Jesus in the book of Mark, they bring Jesus with that boy. That boy was sick. The disciples, they couldn't deliver. They couldn't do nothing. Jesus was telling the father, believe. When you believe, everything will be all right. When you believe, everything will be possible. If you already fell in 2021, it's not like you're going to fail again in 2022. If there was a challenge in 2021, it's not like 2022 is going to come with a challenge. 2021 is coming, it's still fresh. The year 2022 is still fresh. It's for you to lead eh, 2022. What's going to profess us today is what 2022 is going to bring to you. Hallelujah. The year is still fresh. It too you must declare something. When you declare something today and 2022, must listen to your voice. Those which they was dominating this year, they must listen to your voice from Captain Soti River. Today, God is going to give you power. This night, I call it the night of power, the night of authority, the night of capacity, the night of anointing, the night of new beginning, the night of new change, man. There is a new beginning that is coming. But the Lord asks you, forget about the past. Forgive and forget. There are some people that block their blessing because they can never forget. They can never forgive. My boss, he was just me. That sister who worked the same company. He is the one who was making me suffer. Forgive 
and forget. He's able to give a new job. Hallelujah. Are you there? Because the Lord said there is a new beginning. There is a new history that is going to be happen. Hallelujah. Tonight your limitation is going to be over. Tonight all your problem is going to be over. Tonight all your sickness is going to be over. Everything is going to come back. Believe in my words. Believe in God. You shall prosper. This is the time for you to prosper. 2021, it was a year for other people. 2022 is for you, you are sitting in the name of Jesus. 2022 is for you to get married in the name of Jesus. 2022 is for you to drive a new car in the name of Jesus. 2022 is for you to build the house for your mother in the name of Jesus. Focus in the new thing. Focus in the promise of God. His promise, he never fell. His promise, he remained faithful. I never see God change. I never see God fail. God can never change. The Bible says, He is not a man to fail. Your enemy already fell. Because they are planning to kill you, they already fell. But the God that you are serving, He never fell. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord is by your side. Never discourage. People that was blocked you this year, they will see you again. People that was delete you, they will still activate again. People that was delete your number, they will see your number again activate. Hallelujah. You know the witch. The mission for the witch is to delete people's number. People that don't call you, customers that don't call you, but tonight God's going to activate your phone in the name of Jesus. Enemy already deletes you. People that don't recognize you exist, but it will not. Oh, I will activate you in the name of Jesus Christ. People are going to give you a value next year in the name of Jesus. People that will respect you next year in the name of Jesus. People that will salute you next year in the name of Jesus. Be strong and be courage. The Bible says, when Joshua was going there to Jordan, the Lord was telling Joshua, is there where you are going? But before you reach there, be strong. Be courage. The road of greatness is not easy. The road of victory is not easy. The road of blessing is not easy. Your courage and your strength, it will push God to do something. Never discourage if you didn't receive nothing this year, continue to pray your God. Continue to save your God. Continue to support his kingdom. Is where you're going to receive the rewards. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't discourage. Don't give up. Continue to save your God. Continue to support his kingdom. Continue to pray. Continue to do fasting. You will see the hand of God.